for our next watercolor technique or watercolor experiment, we're going to be using the liquid watercolors again, and we're going to be using this cellophane. I know it's kind of hard to see. We're going to be using cellophane. So I'm going to set that here, and again, same thing. We're going to be using colors that work well together. And we're just going to be putting them down how we like it. You might want to add a little bit water to get that watercolor to move. And I'm painting quickly because I don't want my video to go on and on. But again, just like using the sea salt, you want the watercolor to be fairly wet when you use the cellophane. I have to admit, I'm kind of not the best at using the cellophane because um, I often get impatient and I want to take my paper up right away to look at it. So that right there is the hard part. Now you can see I've just mixed a color here and that's not going to look so great when it touches the green. So I'm going to come back and add some blue here. Okay, so paint nice and wet. Now you're going to take your cellophane, <clears throat> plastic wrap, and you're just going to, well maybe I'll, nope, I'm going to leave it just like this. I'm just going to press this down onto my paper. Just like that. And yep, I can press it down. So you can already see what's happening underneath there. Now because watercolor takes some time to dry, we have to leave the cellophane like this. And that's the hardest part for me, is being patient enough for the watercolor to dry. So when I pull the cellophane up, that texture is actually left behind. So hopefully you do a better job than me. I will show you what mine looks like in class.